So over here I've set up a little demonstrator for us that's going to show the importance of an antenna. First of all, what is an antenna? We, this is our transmitting antenna. It consists of 50 turns of enameled copper wire, which is the electrical part of the antenna. This is going to create a magnetic wave, an alternating magnetic wave, through the alternating current that's being generated by this little oscillator over here. That's going to induce a current in a receiving antenna and this LED is going to show us when the current is being induced in our receiving antenna. Over here I've got an oscilloscope, uh, two oscilloscope probes. This is the oscilloscope pre-processing unit and we will see the actual waveform and that's what an oscilloscope does on the laptop over here. We're going to see the waveform that is being transmitted. Right, so without further ado, let's switch on and you'll see the, this is the, the waveform that is currently being um, generated inside our transmitting antenna. So if I bring this uh, receiving antenna closer, you will see how a current is being induced in our receiving antenna. Now important, the inverse law of electromagnetic radiation, the larger the distance, the smaller the signal, the smaller the distance, the larger the signal. Now in order to, uh, to see the LED a little better, I've made this shield because I've realized that the, the lights are a bit uh, bright in the, in the lab over here. So just to let you show that to you again, there we go, you can quite clearly see the LED lighting up as the current is being induced in our receiving antenna over here. To the receiving antenna so that we can see the current being induced into our receiving antenna. There you can see the, the induced signal. I'm going to show it to you like that. So the red line is the uh, induced current. That's, in other words, our receiving signal. So one of the, the, the things that I, we often get asked is why do we need an external antenna? Simply because an internal antenna in your router internally in the, in the building has to go through brick. So what I've done is uh, these DVDs have an aluminous um, surface, that's the recording surface, and I'm going to create, this is going to be our brick wall, now watch what happens when I put a brick wall between our transmitting antenna and our receiving antenna. You can see how the signal has, from overshooting has reduced uh, significantly. Now also inside a building there's often lots of metal objects. If you place your router on a metal filing cabinet, that metal, this is a metal tin top, is going to reflect the electromagnetic wave and if I bring this closer you you're going to see how the signal is reduced significantly so what do you gain by having an antenna outside first of all you get rid of the reflections secondly you get rid of the of the brick wall and there we go significant improvement uh, in our signal so to summarize, transmitting antenna, receiving antenna, alternating magnetic field, the, the basis of all wireless communication, much better to have it outside as you've seen. You don't have to penetrate the, the walls or the, or, the, or the slab or even metalized windows. And then secondly, you get rid of any reflections that may be inside the building.